Have you ever struggled to open your peanut butter jar? Have you ever been locked out of your kitchen, burnt your muffins, or caught the stove on fire? Never again, now that you have Miss Cinda's Kitchen Fun. Kitchen Fun. Teaching the best kind of fun. Kitchen fun is not responsible for any stirring, blender, or fire-related injuries. Whatever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Kitchen fun is up next. Welcome to our Kids Camp Fun in the Kitchen. And today, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I think you will too. But before we get started, let's introduce our awesome cooks. My name is Cadence. Hi. My name is Hannah and I am from Georgia. Ooh, thank you, Hannah. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Noah, and I am from Michigan. Good. My name's Christiana. Ooh. Okay. My name is Angel, and I'm from Indiana. Oh, very good. My name's Ben, and I'm from Illinois. Awesome, Ben, we're so happy to have you. Okay. My name's Abby, and I'm from Colorado. Good. My name is Jasmine, and I'm from New York. Whoa, you're from a long ways, aren't you? And you too, aren't you? Okay. My, my name is Kate and I'm from Colorado. Oh, good. My name is Carter and I'm from Michigan. Oh, isn't that awesome? You guys are from a lot of different states. That's awesome. Well, who's ready to cook? Me! Would you like to know what we're making today? Yeah! Boys and girls, would you like to know what we're making today? We are making soft pretzel nuggets. Who likes pretzels? I do. That's me too. And so we're going to make learn how to make healthy ones. 
I did. Do you know why? Because I thought you might want to taste them. I do. You do? I do. <laughs> okay, to get so started, this is going to be a fun, messy recipe, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love messy. I love messy. <laughs> okay, you need your gloves, so put your gloves on. You each have two pair, two gloves, so put your gloves on. You're going to need it. Well, it, that's right. It's okay, isn't it, Cadence? Okay. Who's ready to get messy? Me! Oh, boys and girls, if you don't have gloves, don't worry about it. You can use no gloves, and it'll still be fun because it's fun to get your hands messy. You can wash them. Isn't that right, boys and girls? Yeah! Okay. So you want to get your green bowl, your big mixing bowl, and remember, boys and girls, what do we do? We're working in teams, so what do I want you to do? So if you have one-third, but you need a two-third cup, what are you going to do? Oh, I have smart kids today. That's right, so you'll need two of these filled with flour, okay? And so take turns. You do one and let Cadence do one. Oh, that's nice, Cadence. Okay, two of the flour. Okay. And if you get that done, you're gonna need, take a little pinch of salt. Okay, take a sprinkle right here and sprinkle a, just a little pinch of salt, okay? That's what we call a pinch of salt. Just a little pinch. Did you guys see what I did? Very good. There's your, you use that salt over there. Use your real fine salt. Do you see your real fine salt? This is your fine salt. Did you put a little pinch in? So just gonna go like that and sprinkle some in. They're perfect. Did you get your, that's okay. You can use this too. It's, it's salt. So, okay. Now take your, take your stir and stir it up. Uh, we don't have any spoons, do we? So you know what? Gloves. We have gloves. Take your finger and stir it up. Okay? Now, we got the salt stirred in there. You're going to add your container of soy yogurt. This is soy yogurt, boys and girls. And you'll take one container of your soy yogurt. I don't know if you can see that but any kind of soy yogurt. It doesn't have to be this brand. It could be any kind. Okay, pour all of it in and use your finger to scrape off all the extra. See, look what I'm doing. See, I'm just using my finger. I'm scraping it off the lid even. For some reason, we didn't get the spatulas on here, but that's okay. Wait, what were you gonna say, Hannah? It doesn't matter why. It's fun, it's because it's why? Fun getting dirty. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you guys can both get your hands in there and make this into a dough. Okay? We're gonna just work it in there. You wanna see mine? Look, I'm just working it into a dough. You wanna see? Work it into a dough. See, look, working it into a dough. You guys want to see mine? See how I'm getting into a dough? And you guys, if it's too sticky, then you know what? Add a little bit more flour. See how I'm adding? You don't want to add too much, just a little bit at a time, because you want a real soft dough. See, you need to add a little, add a little more flour. See how mine, look how mine's looking. See? So add a little bit more flour. You want it to get real, you want it to be, see how mine's sticking to my hands? Oh dear, I'm gonna borrow some of your flour. I need some more flour. You need more flour? Oh, you guys definitely need some more flour. See? Oh, then you need more flour. Definitely need more flour. Good job, Cadence. Don't get too much flour because then you're gonna have a problem. Cadence, you need to get all that in there. Can you 
use your fingers and get all that in there. Oh, kids, what do you think I need? Flour. I do need flour, don't I? Oh, boys and girls, this can, you want to get a real soft dough. So you want it to be in a real soft dough ball. Like this is almost there. See how it's starting to get into a ball? And you want to just knead it. Kids, look what I'm doing. You want to just knead it like this. Okay, and add more flour if it's not working. Just keep adding more flour. There you go. Um, Anoa, you need more flour. Yeah, no, 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 add more flour. Put some flour right on your hands. Open your hands. There you go. Yep, there you go. Open your hands like this. There you go. Now, pick up your dough, and now when you work your dough, it'll, it'll incorporate into your dough everything that's on your glove. Okay? How you guys doing? Kate, Kate, you and you and Carter need more flour. Put it right on your gloves. Put it. Look at mine. Look at this. Look. More. See. More flour right on your gloves. Here, open your hands. Open your hands. Now rub rub it down in there. As you rub it, it will stick to your your big dough ball. Okay, instead of rubbing it back and forth, put it in here, like in your hands. There you go, see? How are, oh, Noah, you need more flour. Let's, let's give her some, there you go. Here, Noah, let me get, there you go. But it's cooking. That's right, it's cooking. See, how are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are actually doing really good. Here, Ben, you want some more? There you go. So boys and girls, if your dough is really sticky like, like this, just keep adding a little bit more flour until you want a nice dough ball like this, okay? Because this is nice and soft. Here, let's put some more flour on your hands, guys. Excuse me, Miss Cinda, do we yes. need more flour? Yes, a little bit. Here, I'll, you know what? I'll come and help you guys. How are you guys doing over here? So this is what you want, boys and girls. A nice soft dough like this, okay? What? I'm gonna put my dough down here. I can absolutely help you. I need more. Okay, here, let me show you. Let's get in here. Instead of putting flour on your gloves, you guys squeeze your dough ball. Squeeze it. Good job! Good job! And keep and See how it, it see how the dough on your hands will start sticking. Oh, Miss Miss uh, Leslie, could you get some more gloves? Cause I think Hannah's gonna need a new pair of gloves, and I this. think Cadence is too. All right, we'll get Miss Leslie out here and Miss Donna. Maybe Miss Donna, can you come and help put gloves on new pe the new gloves on? Okay. We're so thankful for our helpers, Miss Donna and Miss Leslie. You can bring the whole box in here if you want. Okay. Oh, let's not throw it in here. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, you might want to go walk around with that. Yes, can you turn my water on? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, yours is almost in a dough ball. Wait till your yours is almost. See, boys and girls, see how I've worked their dough? Theirs is starting to become a ball now. And knead it, just knead it a little bit. In fact, take turns kneading it, okay? How are we doing over here? Miss Leslie will come and pick these up for you. Yes, hon? It's not sticking to our hands anymore. That's awesome! Let me see. You're getting it? Good deal! You could have just a touch more flour. It's a little sticky yet. See, it shouldn't stick to your hands. See how it's now we it's not sticking? Okay. See, boys and girls, 
We're just working with it till it's a soft dough. Now you can change gloves. You've got it now. They'll let them change your glove. You can actually work some of that down in there. How are you doing? Oh, that's good, but you need to add it to Carter's. So you have one big... <gasps> that's, I'm so proud of you, Angel. That's awesome. Ben, that's awesome. Now, have you guys made this before? How did you get so good? I did. Yeah, well, you're so good. Are you teasing me? Oh, good job. Good job. So you like to be in the kitchen. Very good. You do? Who likes being in the kitchen? Me. Oh, that, I love being in the kitchen. Okay, so now what you guys do, put it down here with, you guys, you can dump the rest of your flour down like that. And now knead your ball like this. Here, you know how to do it? Oh, you might need a little more flour here. And then I want you to put it down here like this and just knead it just a touch, okay? And then, that's good. Now I want you to divide it in half. And now I want you to roll it into a rope. You know what a rope is? So, I don't know if we can see. Boys and girls, when you're all done with that, I want you to divide the dough into two pieces and you each have a dough and then you, I want you to just go like this and get it into a long rope. Do you know that somebody in our prep kitchen said, oh, you want to make a long snake? And I went, Oh no, I don't want to make a snake. A snake would be, oh, I would scare me. So I called it a rope. What do you think? You want to call it a rope or a snake? Oh no, I'm outnumbered. Oh no. Okay, you can dump your flour like this. And now divide it into two. Divide it into two. Um, you, you want it to be about this thick. Can you guys all see this? Okay? You don't want it real thin because we're gonna, we are going to cut it. We have knives and we're gonna cut it. I need a little more flour down here. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. Oh. That's awesome, Hannah. Like you, you do, that's awesome. They like to help their mom in the kitchen. Do you know what, boys and girls? The funnest part of being in the kitchen is guess what? And you get to spend time with, with your special, mom and dad and grandmas and grandpas and aunts. Yes, you want to keep them on. Sure, let me show you. So you want to squeeze it together like that and then put it down and you're going to roll like that, okay? Let's move all this out of your way. We're going to move this out of your way. How's that? That good? Mm -hmm. It looks yummy. So look how long my rope is. Can we taste it, Mrs. Kinder? When you're done, you absolutely can taste it, Miss Hannah. <laughs> I would love to. That's why I made some in the in the kitchen in the back, so I could share with you and you guys could taste it. Who's got their long? Oh, I'm gonna have to say it, aren't I? Who's got their long? rope, um, I mean, um, snake, who has it all made? It might scare me if I come over there because I don't like snakes. Look at, you're already making a snake. Oh, <laughs> can I just call it a rope? No. No. Oh, no, can I, can I call it, do I have to call it a snake? You can, can call I, it a nice snake. I, oh, I can call it a nice snake? 
Okay, that helps. Hannah, that helps. Hannah says I can call it a knife snake. Is there such a thing as a knife snake? Yes. yes. Oh, there Garter is? a snake. Oh, my goodness. But they still scare me. Would you guys talk to the snakes and tell them not to scare me? Okay. Thank, okay, because I'm coming over. I'm going to check your snakes out, make sure they don't scare me. Oh, you scared me. No scaring them. No, thank you, thank you. I know I'm coming to see your snake. Is it going to scare me? Noah. I think that's a good snake. A <laughs> little bit more. Okay, when you let me see yours, Abby. Abby and Jasmine, how's your snake? Pretty good. Oh, that's excellent, awesome. And my my star cooks here. You guys are doing awesome. Now take your knife. Oh, and you know what, Miss Donna and Miss Leslie, they probably each need a knife. We actually need another knife. So you're gonna cut it into little bite-sized pieces like that, okay? But that's his. So, and then we're gonna have a, um, there's a pizza pan down there. And you guys have a little pizza round pan? No, 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 separate. Let's roll it into a snake. Oh, I said it again. It's getting easier the more I say it. You could also do it this way, boys and girls. See how I'm doing this? Look, just go like this. How's your snake? Oh, are you perfect? Now what I want you to do is you get, um, you can actually put yours, you can put them both on here, but I want you to cut them into little bite-sized nuggets. Yep, and you can do a little bit bigger than that. You don't have to shape them, you can just leave, cut them. That, that's perfect. You see what she's doing, Carter? And they're bringing you, Miss Donna and Miss Leslie are bringing you more knives. Thank you. We're so glad for our assistance. Yes? Okay, you need to get your ropes going, guys. How's mine? Oh, let me see. Oh, perfect, you're ready to cut, I think. Absolutely, Christiana, you guys are awesome. Boys and girls, doesn't this look like fun? You're gonna wanna try this. And you know what? If you want the recipe, you can just go online and go into 3abnkidscamp.tv and you can get the recipe. So don't worry, you can make this at home. It's lots of fun. Okay? Now what we're gonna do is bring around boiling water, and you know what, we'll just have to bring water from the, our stove's not lighting right now, so just bring some boiling water if you don't mind. Okay, you want, you want me to help you? Here, let me do it, because you need to get your knives, and we need to start cutting. I'll help you too. I would love to help you. Whoa, I'm getting all dirty. <laughs> Okay, so that means I must be having fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going ready, yeah. Okay, now here, there's yours. Okay, let me get yours. You almost got it, honey. You just, there. Now, cut it into little nuggets. You want to see, look at mine. See, cut it into little nuggets like that and put it on your tray. Cut it, here, cut it into little nuggets and let me give you a knife, here. Okay, there's one. I actually have some. You're gonna, we're gonna cut them into little nuggets and then we're gonna put them in boiling water. We're gonna dip them in boiling water because that's what gives the chewiness to the pretzel. We dip each little nugget like this. We take it and we dip it in boiling water and then we put it on our tray and bake them. Are you guys getting it all cut and it's all ready to go into boiling? You got your boiling water. Dip it in, oh, wait, 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 wait. You gotta mix your baking, baking soda. Pour your baking, yep. Pour your baking soda into the water and it you should bubble up. There you go. Pour it, pour it in and now, oh, stir, and stir it up with your tongs, okay? Now you dip it, each piece in. There should be, there's another set of tongs. 
You each should have two sets of tongs. Did you mix your, good job. Now pick them up and put them in there. And let's be careful of the pan because it's hot, but this way I'm gonna put it between it in? you. Set, um, just put, just dip it in the water. Just, and here's yours, sweetheart. Um, just dip it in the water and then put it on this perfect, Ben. So dip it in the water and then, did you put your baking soda in? Good, good. Very good. But, oh, they're bringing you water. This is hot? Oh, okay. Put your baking soda in that. Very good. And let's stir it up. Okay. Yes, and Christiana, these might be easier for you to use. Or cadence, I mean. There, do you want to try this? Would this be easier for you? You think that one's okay? So see, take it, put it in the water, and then put it in the tray. Just like that. Now, I have already baked some for you so that you're going to get to put them into the... You're gonna put them into melted margarine. Okay, so the, now that you know how to do that, I wanna have you take these that I've already baked. Put, thank you. Put these, you guys dip these into the melted margarine and then dip it into your coarse salt and then you can taste it. The melt right here. So you dip it, just do the, do the baked ones. Just because I want you to, we're, run, we're almost out of time, and I want you to be able to taste them. Good job, Cadence. Yes, do you want to try tasting one? Yep, you dip them, dip them into the, oh, here's what you do. You dip it into the butter, the margarine, the vegan margarine, then you dip it into the salt just as much as you want, just a little bit, and then you pop them in your mouth. <gasps> Does that sound like fun? What do you think? Are they good, Kate? Yes. Oh. Anoah, what do you think? Are they good, Hannah? Yes? You don't have to have salt. If you don't want salt, you don't have to have salt. And you can just pop them in your mouth and eat them. Fun? Who had fun in the kitchen today? Mommy. Oh. <laughs> Boys and girls, anytime you can be in the kitchen, it's fun. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Good job, guys.